those bottles be poison powder. Butchers. We wear patriarchy as a conquest and privilege like an apron so as to never stain ourselves with the blood of women. It is the destruction in all words we have been taught since birth from our voice boxes filling the chorus of sexist hip-hop tracks into our anthems, laughing to the rhythm of reference and how much head we receive when we freestyle. To me and my friends, whose only way to speak about girls is through the size of their breasts, verbally undressing the fullness of their frames. It is in the way we crave them, disposable, when we talk to women, we become slaughterhouses. They all need to be mutilated by our kitchen knife pans, hips, half to pieces. We can string girls' legs like young cattle, keep them limber. They do not need to walk to taste good, we just want them on their knees. We can put in spirits on hooks from freezers, where they swing from side to side so that they can never move forward. We replace respect with pet names, bitch, ho. Baby. Gutting their figures with guillotine vocal cords, it is our language that gnaws on bones, breaking us off every time we batter their bodies with shattering slang. Our words leave them broken, hollow, crawling for any scrap of dignity. We've been sawed off with jagged teeth, no wonder. Girls learn to swallow so young, it's hard to teach boys to become good men. When we applaud half naked bodies with orgasms, salivating for the split of open legs. There are times that I forget where I come from. That every woman I degrade is someone's daughter. Women are not meat. Processed, are ready for purchase. This world is not an industry to be owned. I'm sorry for every serrated sentence I have ever carved into your skin crumbling your spirits with my own insecurities, never owning up to any of my mistakes or holding other men responsible for theirs. I'll wipe the blood from these blades and hang up these words for good.